home-based portable energy storage, a one upgraded model, new BMS V19, new LCD 4.3-inch display, new UART function, new fire extinguishing device. Now let's DIY the kit. Install four handles and two latches. Before assembly, measure the voltage of each cell to ensure the same value. Place the epoxy boards. Note that the bottom two pieces epoxy boards do not need to be taped. Place two pieces boards at the top and bottom one epoxy board and one insulating cotton. Place the battery cell as shown on the left. Pay attention to the order and put a piece of insulating cotton in the middle of the two pieces cells. Use M6 screws to lock the front baffle, leaving no gaps. Put insulating cotton on the back of PCB A and B. Notice that board A is on the left, board B is on the right. Please use M4 black screws to fix both ends of these two boards. Place the connector and the terminal and lock the nut as shown. All components are connected and displayed. Connect the terminals as shown in the figure. Connect UART cable and BMS communication acquisition cable. First, remove the nut, then install the connecting wire and finally fix it with a torque wrench. The recommended torque value is 6 to 8 ohm. need to be reinforced with a torque wrench and the torque value is recommended to be between 6 to 8 Nm. Install fire extinguishing devices. The sunken hole is facing upwards, fixed with M4 screws. Our power button has been upgraded to have an indicator light. Display of screen content when stacked in a single layer. The first startup requires connecting to the JKAPP for debugging. Click left of four in the upper right the corner to set the battery capacity, as shown in the figure. After setting, click the Advanced Settings drop-down menu. As shown in the picture, set the continued charge curve A to 150 and click OK. Open setting and set RS485 protocol node. Set it as 015 GK BMS PBXX series LCD protocol V1.0. Assembly completed. If you want to know more about our product, please contact us on nrlibaba.com.